to thank uh, Electric uh, Mobility Macedonia for, for the invitation. Uh, so thank you for the patience of you and the interest you had in, in our experience, which I, I hope will be able to give you some ideas about how to, how to promote electric mobility uh, in a country which in the end is, is quite similar to to Bulgaria in terms of its uh, level of development. Now, what I, I, would, uh, I would tell you a bit about, about the association. Uh, I would tell you a bit about our experience um, until now, what we have done. I will speak a bit about uh, what is our key project. And then I will finish with something which we, we didn't discuss very much, uh, which is what uh, government, uh, what in our mind, government's or public authorities' role should be. Uh, there are, in addition to the communities that, that we saw today, which is enthusiasts and scientists and researchers and students, uh, that we, we saw the media, that we, we also need to address business and we need to address government. So at the end, I will give some ideas about government and if you want, we can talk about it in our our experience, which is not very long, we we were founded, um, we started in a very similar way to you. Uh, what is it now? Just just three years ago, um, we became a member. This is how we met with uh, with the Slovenian in, uh, association, and this is essentially how we were invited here because I don't think that Kiril would have uh, thought about us. If, uh, our colleagues from Slovenia had not introduced us. Uh, this is a very is the European Association of Electric Vehicles. Uh, we have had over the basically the, the main the main difference of vibes from, from <coughs> other associations, which we are now changing by the way, is that we started intentionally as a, a, a club of enthusiasts and we limited membership to individuals. So during these three years, there have been over 100 people that have been members, some have left, and people have come in. Active, uh, probably about 30, 40 people. Uh, uh, some of our members, just, just to give you an idea, just to give you an idea, Pelham uh, Mania, Dragomir uh, is, is, uh, is a, an athlete, he, he, he's a cyclist. He has a cycle company. He's quite well known. Uh, Magdalena is probably heard her name because she was one of the top tennis players some years after, some years back. Colchip is, is a Elana is a pretty well known financial company. Uh, and uh, Kalina uh, happens to be my wife. But what is more interesting, why I put her here, is because. Uh, uh, Macedonian colleague, this is probably interesting for you, you might not know it, but her Macedonian colleague, this is a uh, uh, advertising company. It's quite Macedonian, you might know it, but her colleague just won the, the, the highest possible award in, in, in Cannes, in the, in the advertising competition, which is a, a platinum trophy, uh, which in fact is extremely rare. And in the network that they have, apparently, uh, which is Young and Ruby, one of the biggest companies, no one ever had it. So you have a Macedonian advertising person who's won the, the top, the top prize ever. Now, what, what, what is what is given here? What we have done? The main, the main thing we did, and this was two years ago, and it was quite successful, but didn't give the results that we were hoping. I'll, 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 I'll tell you what we were, what we were looking for. Uh, when we started, we, we were completely, completely uh, um, well, out of scope, considering the situation, the reality. Uh, when we started, because there was a lot of hype at the time, 2009, 2010, a lot of discussion at, uh, in Brussels, uh, and, and we thought oh, that this is a real watershed and there will be an avalanche of electricity. We expected 10,000 
by this year. Now there are only about 60, so we were very, very far from the, from the, we were very far from the target, and also we planned 2,000 recharging stations uh, and uh, limiting the combustion vehicles in the center of, of, of Serbia. Now, as you can see, and of course there's no, no limit of combustion engines, what we did achieve in terms of regulation is that, uh, that uh, not only in Sofia, but in also a couple of other big cities, parking for electric vehicles now is free of charge, which is a real, a real help and a real motivation for people to own electric vehicles. Uh, now, this year is, is interesting, uh, 7,000 recharging stations. I, I don't know, I, I'm not sure that they have planned uh, something for Macedonia. And I'm sure there must be a figure for some target for Slovenia. But now this is a new kind of target for which there's a discussion uh, on the political, well, with the government to see whether, whether it's a feasible target. Now, what these 7,000 recharging stations are, these are, those that are freely available in the public uh, yes, on, 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 in a public area. Uh, the number of recharging stations that is being targeted is 10, 10 times higher, but all the others, the 60 something thousand others, are all domestic or, or, or within business garages. They, they are not publicly, publicly available. Now, now uh, here is our mission, which I, I'm sure is quite similar, at least what I saw in the declaration, is quite similar to, to what you have. Uh, so basically, the, the, you can read it, I don't think there's anything specific about it. I, I, talk, I spoke to you about the goals. Now, what, what we did, we focused very much on, on uh, promoting, or, or rather, um, bringing the electric vehicle to the public's attention. We had uh, we've organized until now, um, we we'll participated in the organization of over these three years of seven, six, seven, day, seven uh, conferences or, or, or large, large events. Our largest event was, was the one mentioned at the bottom with these people there, but there were many more. I just, I just, we, it was a two day conference, it had, uh, it had the Ministry of Economy as our partner. Uh, the, the speaker here is the, at the time is still the current mayor of Sofia. Uh, in the background, just behind her, is the then minister, the minister of Economy. The guy next to him is the Pedro person in Bulgaria, who is also the chair of the, uh, of the automotive uh, association, meaning the importers and, and, and uh, sales people of. of Vehicles and the, and the person on, on the right is the uh, commercial director of uh, one of the of one of the uh, model operators who have a green degree and, and they have an electric vehicle and, and made quite a big presentation out of it. Now, one of the things uh, this is in, in terms of attracting attention. Coming back to, to the community, which I, 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 at least I, I don't know whether it's present here. Uh, for business at this stage, the main interest is in, in advertising. So when you try to attract businesses, I think you should always consider that whatever expenditure they do, whether it is for a vehicle or for a grid, this is what I discussed with, with our Slovenian friend, is in the, the, the expenditure is not on a, a good or, or, or a service, is to show off. So both, uh, both Global, which is this mobile operator, and, and my organization, which is, which is a, a mid-sized bank, we really benefited tremendously from having these vehicles because the, the expenditure of the vehicle was covered by the media far more than any, uh, far more than an equivalent spending for TV or, or radio it is for you for the next couple of years or in, in Macedonia. I think that you have to check how the media is going to respond on the 
on the event, but in any case, I think it will be a point of attraction. We all always think that the media, and I think it was said by someone this morning, is that the media is, is looking for devastating events or for catastrophes, but in fact, they're also looking for, for positive things to report. And they don't have many of them, and this is a good subject. So it can be used by, by, by business to promote a positive image of themselves. This is the second conference which we had, uh, which was in, in the same year. I have to say that after these two large conferences, the, the potential of organizing these events uh, declined. Uh, at least this is the, the way we feel. That there's not, not much more to say. So it was said here that we would like this event to continue every year. Uh, maybe you should hold several large events over a couple of years, but then either it should be, in my mind at least, um, um, similar to what we have today, an event among very interested parties discussing scientific or, or technical or even economic subjects, but then it is really a relatively small circle. This kind of event you can do a couple of times and then whatever the, the effect is, that's what you get. The truth is that in Bulgaria, uh, in Bulgaria, the uh, I will I wanted to talk about the government at the end, but I, I will use now to talk about the government law. Uh, the truth is that, that although the, the guy you saw in, in the picture, Trykov, who was minister at the time, was really personally motivated, uh, he he didn't manage to. Anything, really anything. The, 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 the person who did something is the lady who was in front, uh, and it wasn't really her, but at least she didn't oppose the, the introduction of this free party. Now, what we think in our environment the role of the government uh, should be number one, number one, really, is you should try to persuade uh, public figures to start driving electric. Meaning, you should persuade either Skopje municipality or some small city municipality to acquire a vehicle for the mayor, for utility use as well. But really, people, I think, change their attitude when they see someone in power beginning to use it, rather than the large vehicles. The, the vehicle use is. It's also a, there's a psychological part to it, and, and uh, we are all copycat people. I mean, we, we do what other people do. And when you see people in power do something, I think that there is a shift of attitude. So in, in our mind, we've been trying very hard. We nearly got there. We had an interim government, and we nearly got there with the, with the minister of environment. It was just about to buy a vehicle, and then he said, "No, in fact, the national whatever it's called, the national." It's the National Service for Defending the People in Power. They said, no, 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 this is not secure enough. So, just as he was about to sign, he, was, he didn't take it. Anyway, the next year or so, I think we will, we will get some of these people to start driving them. Uh, we think that governments should invest in infrastructure. Even if they don't invest directly, they should allow, through regulation, Electricity distribution companies to uh, at least account for such investments in the, the expenditure that they are allowed to, to make under under the under the regulatory frame. Uh, well, the others uh, simplifying is obvious. What you don't see here, which is always, and I think you, you have it in your declaration as well, which is all always uh, a matter of contention is whether government uh, should uh, subsidize vehicles themselves. And uh, basically, uh, we don't think so. Because when you do that at an early stage, you lock in a given business model, a given, a given pricing arrangement, which then you can't get out of. And, and whenever in the future you, you want to change the relationship, all interested parties will use this subsidy and you can see it already both in the States and in France, 
is beginning to exercise uh, a, a limitations on the development of, of, uh, of the given market. Now, uh, these are just, just, to, just to, to explain a little bit more the environment in Bulgaria of uh, electric vehicles. Uh, the, these are the, the organizations that you, that you see here are our main, uh, our main partners. Um, there are two clusters. Uh, by cluster, I mean uh, well, it's really, uh, groups of companies, universities, uh, that uh, have some common goal and, and get subsidy from, from the government to work on that goal. Um, Vromos is the, the major, the major the, the, the importer of electric vehicles, <coughs> the Chinese thing. They have sold probably more than a thousand electric scooters, particularly on the Black Sea coast. Uh, they also try to, to to design a small two-seater based on, on, on the, their own design uh, that produced in China, um, which was quite cheap because they, they, they believe that price is the main obstacle, which I, they're, probably, they're probably right. The trouble is that the vehicle that comes out is not, doesn't turn attractive enough, so they, they have not been very successful. I think they've sold uh, probably six or seven of those. Uh, and they have another series of vehicles that they sell, which is um, golf carts and, and, and small touristic, open touristic, to tourist buses. Um, and the others, uh, one which is very interesting is e-cars, uh, which is a, a, a couple of guys who do a, a, an information website which you should, you should probably look at, because it's, it's, it's quite interesting. We use it in our own website. What we do is, because we don't have much to say uh, on a regular basis, we use their news on our website. So basically, either our website, or or e-cars, I think it's worth just checking what, what we do to, to probably give you some ideas. And now, to, to finish with uh, our main, our main Focus at the moment, which we think is, is the most uh, uh, the most interesting, uh, at least uh, at this point in time, use of electric vehicles, is uh, our pilot project for, for goods deliveries in in cities. We focused on on, on the seven largest uh, cities, which is the capital, to taxi towns, and Plovdiv and to others, Lucy on. on Danube and Plevin. And uh, basically, we have identified a uh, hundred and something uh, companies, uh, couriers, companies, uh, uh, big retail chains, uh, large, uh, the, the, the electricity distribution companies, basically, large companies that have, that have car fleets. And we would like to have a group order uh, for these goods deliveries, uh, municipalities as well. Um, we have an early start with the largest uh, courier company called Speedy in you know, okay, who just ordered 20 uh, electric handles, which is a, a Renault, the most successful uh, pickup uh, electric vehicle at the moment, which is the Renault Kangoo. And uh, well, we'll see what will come out of it. Uh, but this is our, our target for the next couple of years. So I think that, that's what I that's what I had to, to say. So it will be a huge, and of course I will be glad to see that in any discussion. And now what Bill was telling me is that I should also use the opportunity to say a couple of words about the event, or you want me to say this? Now? Yes, I, I thought it was as uh, the, the, the the latest presenter, maybe because you should have started now. You are going to finish, so yeah. Well, to, 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 to <laughs> say that, I mean, to say the. the we are delighted that both Ivan and I could be with you here. We, we, we are very happy that it was starting this, this venture because I think we, at least we've learned from, from you, from Slovenia, we, we've learned from other associations, and I'm sure we, we will learn from you, and I've, I've learned things this morning. Uh, so uh, congratulations for, for, for what we have done. 
congratulations for, for the spirit of all those that, that were here. I'm not sure whether all the speakers are part of your uh, e mobility, but all the speakers were really, really impressive. And I, and I thank you for, for inviting us to the event tonight. And I wish you on behalf of, uh, of, of the Bulgarian Association a lot of, a lot of success. And, and you're coming in, I think, at the, at the right time because, because the major manufacturers are beginning to bring prices down uh, on the one hand. And on the other hand, what one doesn't think of a lot about uh, when one thinks of the vehicles, but, but, but in fact, it's, it's the way that the gentleman who spoke about the history of automotive group is not here, but the way that, that uh, I think uh, cars came into our countries in the last 10 years is by the second-hand market. And we see this in Bulgaria, I'm not sure it's the case in Slovenia, but at least in, in, in Bulgaria you see an import of second-hand electric vehicles. You have always the, the risk of the, uh, of the uh, value of the battery. But nevertheless, you know, the, those cars are between two and three years later, the electric vehicle has its price top by four or five times. So I think that, that we, we are coming in at the, 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 the right time, and I, I, I wish a couple of years there are at least two, three hundred electric vehicles you know, running around here and in the Netherlands. Thank you. Thank you.